Dios. Everything we know, all the stars, planets, galaxies, and even the atoms that make up our bodies, was once squeezed into a space smaller than an atom. And then, with the Big Bang, it all exploded into existence. But here's the question, how did this explosion of energy become the matter that makes up our universe today? This is the story of how matter came into being. It's a story of particles and antiparticles, of the cosmic battle between matter and antimatter, and of the creation of the first elements, hydrogen, helium, and a sprinkle of others that would go on to build stars, galaxies, and life itself. In the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense sea of energy. So hot that it was impossible for stable matter to exist. But as the universe expanded and cooled, something extraordinary happened. Energy began to transform into particles. You might remember from Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, that energy can turn into matter. In the early universe, this is exactly what was happening. Energy was being converted into particles and their counterparts, antiparticles. But what does that mean exactly? For every particle that was created, an antiparticle was created alongside it. Think of it like a cosmic balance. Wherever a proton popped into existence, an antiproton would appear right next to it. For every electron, there was a positron. These antiparticles are like mirror images of their particle counterparts, but with opposite charges. But the interesting thing is that whenever a particle and its antiparticle meet, they annihilate each other, releasing a burst of pure energy. 